So hi guys, um, uh, this is our last project, it's a uh, Iveco 2011, uh, uh, we built the camper van from this car, uh, it's kind of windy outside so I apologize if, the, if my voice uh, or the, any noises from the wind will be there, anyway, um, from the outside uh, we add some uh, LED uh, bar, it's 100 watts uh, for, the, for the driving on the front, then the next uh, is uh, the rear window, uh, it's a domestic window. On the top of the van, uh, it's uh, ex extra new lights for the, for the backing up when you, when you back up so you have some uh, nice visibility behind the car. A spare wheel uh, or spare tire a holder or mount uh, I built myself. Uh, this is uh, aluminum or aluminium. Uh, it's a 40 by 40 millimeters and uh, it, uh, it's uh, connected to the door and uh, it's holding the spare wheel right here. Then the next uh, what we built outside or made outside, this is the hookup for the camper or uh, when you are in the camp. So this is 230 volts uh, hookup or outlet. And then the, another window in the kitchen area. And on the top, on the roof, uh, there, there are two windows, 40 by 40 centimeters on the front. It's a Fiamma electric fan. On the rear side of the car, it's a 40 by 40 mini Heki. And uh, between the windows, there is a solar panel, 280 watts uh, of uh, polycrystal solar panel. So this is pretty much uh, everything about the, about the van from the outside. Uh, we're trying to keep it as, uh, as much stealth as possible, so that's why there's nothing much outside. Uh, now I will show you how is it inside. So everything, uh, it's pretty much white. There is a, a, a linoleum on the floor. Uh, it's a plastic. It's a very easy, uh, adorable, so you cannot actually uh, break it probably at all. You would have to, I don't know, cut it with the knife or something. It's really nice, easy to clean. Then we made uh, these uh, door panels on the on the old all the doors. Uh, here is uh, like a s very simple special trick uh, when you want to open the door. Uh, you wouldn't be able because there is a bed, and then uh, you cannot reach the whole direction or the the handle. So I just uh, run this string up here, and when I pull this. It's gonna open the door. Very nice, simple. It works uh, great. So uh, from here, from the left, we have um, gas tank right here. Uh, this is made for 11 kilos gas tank. This is five kilos only, so it doesn't fit the whole uh, space. But uh, actually, the 11 kilos uh, fits perfectly. It's all the way. Uh, these holes are actually for if there will be any leaks uh, of the gas. Uh, the gas is heavier than the air, so it will uh, go and leak through the floor out of the van. Uh, tankless, eight liters uh, tankless water heater for the hookup with the with the propane for the hot water. And there is this uh, stainless steel above. Uh, to protect the wood uh, because of course uh, there is some heat coming up from him from here from this area so uh, this is this is it works really good you know there is a gap between of course uh, which is uh, actually a hot the uh, hot actually uh, right here and it's, ne it's ne never gonna get through and uh, damage anyhow the wood on the right side there is a Fiamma uh, 70 liters uh, water tank uh, with uh, 7 or 8 liters water pump the water is gonna going through the floor down under the under the van and uh, going up here the cold water is going to the kitchen and uh, also there is this uh, T uh, connection here and uh, we are going through the Water tank, water heater uh, with the hot water also going to the kitchen area here. So up there, here you can see on the left side uh, it's a big cabinet for some storage. Uh, on here, I'm gonna get there in a second. On the left side, uh, 2,000 watts. Uh, so uh, it's a power inverter. Uh, on the very 
variant of this uh, space is a MPPT controller for the solar system and in the middle it's a actually classic house breakers with uh, this possibility this is actually the solar panel is hooked up right here when you want to turn off the solar panel or unhook so you just turn this off and then there is uh, no power coming from the solar system or from the solar panel actually to the controller okay so the next is here it's a lead carbon battery uh, 100 uh, 100 ampere hours uh, main fuse and uh, Cyrix with some um, main switches for the for the car. So when you, when you wanna unhook the battery all the way, you just turn this off. Uh, this is gonna turn off the inverter. And uh, the last one is actually uh, Cyrix, uh, which is uh, a relay for a starting battery. So the leisure battery and starting battery are connected through this switch and when you turn this off it's not going to charge the, uh, the starting battery anymore. Here, I'm going to get out of here. So here you can see the shower, I will show you later. The shower pan and uh, more from the outside, from behind is uh, 10 centimeters uh, IKEA mattress, uh, Dometic S4 window some cabinets, some storage and then here uh, the, the roof, uh, roof window uh, one more on the front and let's uh, check out the inside okay let's go, uh, let's check the inside okay so what do we have here I'm gonna show you a little bit around. So this is how it looks. Kitchen area with the fridge, shower pan in a drawer, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna show you. So uh, two two cabinets, uh, big cabinets or big closets for the hanging clothes actually. So you can fit a bunch of bunch of clothes. They actually ask for hanging clothes uh, on the hangers. Uh, so everything is as uh, the owner asked for. Uh, here, all the all the power actually all all the electrics are going through this uh, this small storage. There is a main hookup and everything, and then you can actually close this and protect everything, make it nice and safe. Next, what we have here on the outside, on the other side. So, some switches. These are actually not the regular switches. These are actually uh, breakers. So, when I turn this on, you can see the power on the battery system. And then uh, next one is the kitchen area. Next one is the water pump. Another one is the TV. Then this one is, the, those are the lights here one light is on the left side right now right now it's on my left side uh, it's uh, pointing down to the mattress and the other side is actually opposite so it's a uh, pointing up to the ceiling depend what the owner will like that moment you can every single light turn off by the switch uh, right next by the light and the uh, last one is uh, the light under the bed Uh, another one, another thing on the future, future feature, what we have here is this uh, USB charger point or charging point is right here in the in this small uh, upper cabinet above the kitchen area because uh, when you want to charge something you don't want to lose it or break it right, uh, dry, uh, during the driving so you just simply you sit it here, hook up and then close this and uh, nobody needs to know that you are charging something over there even the big cameras or uh, power banks or anything like that uh, 230 volts uh, with two USB outlets here in this nice uh, gadget I really like it then uh, this uh, display is actually showing you everything you need to know 
because everything, all the all the power is hooked up through the MPPT controller. So now you can see what is the solar panel giving you, uh, what is actually on the battery and what is on the load. Uh, so you can uh, actually know how much you drain the battery, how much power is coming from the solar system. If you go into the negative uh, numbers or if you are still uh, good and then you don't need to worry about anything. This is the remote switch uh, for the power inverter and you can turn off and on anytime you need. Another thing is right here and this is the light for the door. So when you open the door, you can turn on this light, which is pointing right by the door. It's giving you really nice light. Uh, USB outlet, uh, classic cigarette uh, lighter, uh, charger, and then two times to 230 volts, just uh, in case you need to charge something or, or use, the, use the power here. Uh, we have one more feature right here. Uh, it's the bed actually the bed would be there would be no uh, place for sitting so right here we have this uh, this uh, trick and then you can turn uh, or like a slide down or swing down uh, this this part of the bed is actually uh, 40 centimeters by one meter or actually 45 so it's giving you kind of like a sitting area or uh, kind of couch uh, this mattress needs to be cut it uh, and then uh, stitch it back again uh, for this uh, so you can actually fold this uh, fold this mattress down with uh, with this lid so during the night is of course it's a it's a full size bed and uh, not full size in USA I know you're using king size and full size uh, I don't know if it's full size in the USA but it's uh, 140 centimeters by uh, 200 centimeters so it's a, it's a it's a big mattress and um, then uh, coming next by it's uh, here this is some uh, storage area for the kitchen for pots and pans whatever you need uh, these both drawers are on the pushing mechanism so they actually locked when in position when you push it it's gonna open like this slide out slide in and it's locked the safe is not going anywhere next one it's a big uh, storage area uh, under the under the working desk on the self uh, closing hinges i'm gonna turn this off now uh, ten two more i will show you these so there is uh, there is some uh, more storage down under the sink and uh, stove it's a lot of, a lot of storage i I think there is an, there is not enough storage in the, any camper. There's always not enough storage in the in the cars like this. So I made I was trying to make sure there is a lot of storage around here. Uh, then huge storage above the driver and passenger head. Uh, it's really huge. It's a it's a big place. I will try to stick this in, and it's gonna turn off. Yeah, and then now you can see I use the self uh, adhesive. Uh, uh, carpet or, or a fabric probably you would say to protect that and make it nice and smooth actually I really like this material I'm using it uh, quite often because it's a uh, very easy to um, kind of take care of the places you don't know how to hide or uh, what to do with them so as you can see around here all these uh, kind of dark spots are this uh, self-adhesive or self yeah self-adhesive uh, carpet it's actually from the store where they selling the car audio systems uh, subwoofers and amplifiers and all this stuff so they're using this uh, carpet for the boxes for the subwoofers i've been using this material i think about 15 years and uh, mostly for the subwoofers but i have to tell you uh, when you want to take it off from the from the MDF or from the box subwoofer box and usually it's going with the wood so um, you're gonna break the actually the boards it, it, it does hold really well so uh, there is uh, some uh, more storage uh, up here uh, everything is on the pistons uh, so you can actually you can actually have like more storage all, all over and uh, where we were okay so here 
this is uh, this is Ara for the porta potty for a small uh, toilet. Of course, you cannot sit on it right now, right here, because this is just the storage. You just take it off, uh, put it wherever you want, and do number one, number two, whatever you need. So this is it. Uh, this is the safety for the kids from IKEA. It's a very cool gadget. You just push this and then open and uh, you have a nice uh, fridge. This fridge is 230 volts. It's a domestic uh, or domestic fridge. It's actually house fridge. This is 230 volts fridge. It is not a 12 volt uh, fridge. Uh, I had this fridge in my car. It's, uh, it's kind of cheap. Uh, it works well, but um, I would prefer to go for 12 volts now because uh, it's not really I don't I don't I don't need 230 volts in the car as long as I don't have uh, this fridge so my next next car will be without it sink uh, from IKEA very nice I think uh, pretty good quality of material a uh, pretty good uh, price actually it's pretty cheap I think it's everything in IKEA uh, then we have uh, cold and hot water I have to turn on the water so we have uh, hot water and we have a cold water also so you can use uh, both and uh, this is also uh, main main uh, kind of like a tub for the for the shower because the shower is right next by I will show you in a moment uh, stove it's a gas stove uh, gas tank is uh, on the on the rear you you saw that on the video so this is just a uh, this is just a regular house stove when you turn this on uh, you have a very nice stove it works well and then uh, there is this uh, protection from the stainless steel everything is stainless steel here and there are these uh, air gaps behind which is actually giving you this uh, protection so you don't break uh, or, or burn uh, the wood behind or anything actually this shouldn't damage anything behind very easy to clean it and it looks I think it looks good so the last uh, thing what I'm going to show you is the is the shower uh, but uh, Veronica is going to show you the shower yeah this so this is how it works the shower is actually in the drawer on the again on the push mechanism uh, there is a shower hose which actually you just uh, hook up with the with the in the, in the sink with uh, with this hose and then you have a nice two meters long shower hose which is gonna easy uh, reach to the to the shower then we have this uh, uh, shower holder I think it came from China maybe Amazon I don't know and then you're just gonna stick this to the ceiling it holds absolutely perfectly there is no problem at all with that and uh, all you need to do is just uh, pull this uh, curtain out and uh, secure wherever it needs to be this is a uh, waterproof material i think they're using it for uh, when they're building a tent and stuff like this uh it's very it's a very thin and it's a really very good quality of the waterproofing uh, you can actually carry some water in this in this if you would stitch it to the bag you can actually fill it up with the water and then just simply go uh, i was really surprised how how well this uh, is uh, waterproof so uh, this is it this the size of the bottom of the pen it's a regular pen from the from the motor house uh, stores and and then all those stores when they're selling the camping stuff so the the pen is uh, 60 by 60 centimeters the top of the curtain is 80 by 80 in centimeters so 80 80 so um, this is how it looks this is how it hangs uh, down from the ceiling i think it looks well uh, there is a one special trick or feature uh, when you actually turn on the fan so it's gonna it's gonna kind of blow up or fill up this uh, shower curtain with the air and uh, when you zip it up because we have a, we have a, we have, a, we have a, everything on the on the zip so when you're gonna zip it up 
and it's actually full of the air which is giving you much more room inside and you can actually take a really nice shower inside because now it's kind of like a balloon <laughs> you can see it okay so this is pretty much everything uh, I don't want to make this video two hours as uh, I did last time so pretty much everything you needed to know thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next build